an unlikely group of people are marching in Delhi. Scientists of India are up in arms. And yes, they are not asking for a hike in pay. They are high asking for a hike in allocation. I have with me Prabir Purkayasta who works with the Delhi Science Forum. Prabir, what is your key demand and why are you marching in Delhi? The two key Hello. demands are A, that we should have a higher allocation. We should have a higher allocation in terms of the science and R&D budget particularly. Because most of our expenditure, science budget now, really goes into quote-unquote non-research activities. So an increase Please. in allocation would ensure that Today. they in the so-called knowledge economy day. that we are trying to reach, Already that at least we have are going to throw down knowledge, in the development cities, of new knowledge. From and are, are, are you asking for something on education also? In yes, Patna, our science and in many other cities, that if you want to do and good science, we, will start we have to have research in the from education Monday institutions, House, particularly the universities. I want a few instances, we are a few institutions is not going to serve the larger needs of the country. And unless we have a broad base of science education, for we are not going to be able to make the innovation of science in any For science and technological research, there, there is a feeling that there is a lot of superstition, myth purpose, and religious bigotry which is getting propagated in the country. No is the march also against some of those ideas? Yes. yes. The second part of the march is to focus on what I will call the rise of unreason in the country, as opposed to the rise of reason, as opposed to the development of scientific temper in the country, which came out of the national movement. We are seeing now talk about cow uh, benefits of cow urine, cow shift, and so on, which are essentially unreasonable, not based on evidence, but attempting to colonize society in different ways. And for so, these, we need to again go back to what the national government wanted, the development the of a country today, based on reason, based on science and technology, yesterday, which can then develop the country in a direction this India March for science And is, is this to also to do with the Modi government, because the Modi government seems to be doing more towards ancient science and other areas? Well, they say ancient science, what they are bringing up are really mythology. So there is no, if there was really an analysis of science in ancient times, I would welcome it. But instead what we are getting is really uh, stories, mythologies and manufactured stories, masquerading as science. And that's dangerous to the future of the country because then we will not be looking at new knowledge but looking at the past, thinking if we know that, all our science should be recovered from our so-called Vedas and the basic text. But isn't it a good idea to put it to test, put it to validation? Yes, but where is the validation? The validation is essentially expenditure of money on useless activities, which is not even proper research. So this is not validation. How do you do validation is the issue. Here the argument is, if you do validation, <coughs> then you are anti-national. That's a problem. So that was Prabir telling us that the march is asking for an higher allocation and to look at practices which are considered anti-science in India.